Medical University of South Carolina is the oldest college of medicine in the South. And as a result, the Department of Psychiatry, but it's also one of the oldest departments of psychiatry, not only in the South, but in the United States. Uh, it's actually had a, just a very, very small number of chairs over the years, which I think has led to a great deal of its stability. And uh, each of those chairs during their era uh, were innovators in terms of developing new ideas and thoughts about the best way to provide care. The driver of the Department of Psychiatry is research. Research is valuable because it definitely informs how we continue to work with uh, clients, patients, community, and education and to continue to do um, innovative and new things as the world is changing and people are changing. Research has always been an integral part of the identity of the Department of Psychiatry at the Medical University of South Carolina. In fact, we are always in the uh, top of all the departments in terms of our research portfolio. Largest numbers of studies, largest number of faculty involved. What that means is that there's a lot of camaraderie, there's a lot of creativity, lots of exchange of ideas all the time. It's talking with people in the community to help us inform better research questions, better research design, so that in the end of the day, hopefully we're creating something that the community would want to adopt. Those are our partners, our community is our, is our partner to be sure that uh, we're, we're meeting the need and that it is something that people would find helpful and useful once we get to implementation. What the department takes great pride in is uh, embedding their research and their clinical care in an inter interdisciplinary m model. Collaboration across departments at MUSC is important because it brings together clinicians and scientists with unique perspectives and expertise in order to solve gaps in our healthcare. We've always embraced a multidisciplinary, integrative, and a translationally oriented uh, approach to our research. Uh, we have both basic science research projects as well as clinical research projects. Some of the most innovative things happen when people from two completely different fields or people that have really different areas of expertise bring their thoughts together and they can, there's real synergy there, they can often come up with something that neither one of them could have come up with alone. We in our teams and our research have enlisted a wide array of disciplines in the work. Uh, we're lucky to be in an academic medical center here. Uh, I'm in a department of psychiatry. I work with epidemiologists, uh, clinical physicians, uh, practitioners in the field. So you really can't be successful unless you have a multidisciplinary team. For instance, my patients might be in need of brain stimulation at one point or another. They might participate in a study. Um, they might um, struggle with you know, addiction. And, and all of those programs are here and they're all outstanding. So my patients can benefit from access to those incredible programs but still remain under my care. <laughs> this culture of interdisciplinary learning and teaching and research is ultimately going to be incredibly important in developing empirically proven uh, evidence-based treatments that can be implemented into a lot of different cultural communities. Being in the Southeast, we have an environment where there are enormous health inequities um, across the board in terms of access to care, in terms of racial disparities in our outcomes, um, and there's so many important opportunities and problems to be solving um, in improving healthcare and healthcare access and reducing racial disparities in, in healthcare. Um, and this is, is sort of a perfect area to be doing that. Um, and there's a lot of work to be done. And you know, I think it's important that we as a community in the world stay engaged with people. We are able to tap into our positive emotions. We are focusing on meaning. We are building relationships and celebrating our accomplishments. Maybe sometimes in a world where, you know, people are often critical of others and of themselves. And so this work in the role that I'm in, it helps us continue to focus on what we need to do to, to move forward. The department is set up to make a national impact by 
uh, basically recruiting top-notch scientists to work here, clinicians, and providing a, a forum to translate that information directly into clinical care. We have a good track record of training people in these technologies, getting them started, and then for people to go on and have careers of their own all around the uh, country, inventing new treatments and helping patients. We provide care to not only the citizens of South Carolina, but to people throughout the United States and actually throughout the world.